We can do a grand total of one check in Palace of Twilight right now. Actually, wait, but that, no, no, wait, no, 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 wait. If we get more small keys, we can keep going. Maybe while I'm in the desert, I should just check how far into Palace of Twilight we can get. If somehow the game considers the cutscene that gives you the, in, the, in the vanilla game, the butter sword, to be an NPC minigame. The prediction is not counting and we're refunding. It should not. I don't see why it would, but I'm just saying it right now. So I don't get a row of mad people coming my way. Well, uh, I think that means that we're locked out of this dungeon until we have the butter sword. Okay, never mind. The butter sword is required. With that within logic, that's only got that's only a location as possible with the butter sword. And yeah, okay, never mind. Butter sword is not here. It's definitely random. Okay, good. Okay, I was scared for a second. Well, that was a good time, chat. We got one full check-in before we had to leave because we don't have the butter sword. Uh, no, I'm gonna check. There's only one location left in desert that I have which is a rock grotto lantern checks. So I'm going to check that so the desert is done. That means the only thing that would be left after that is cave of ordeals, which by the way, I can't believe I didn't remember. <laughs> I should not have included that in the rando. If there was one way I would have rigged this rando, it would have been to like remove that from the pole. I completely forgot that was a thing in this game. So, and I'm not doing that right now. Like hell no, that's look, one of the last checks as well. Like that's down by the bugs in terms of priority. Okay. Bomb school. Wait, I know where to go. We should go to Temple of Time. We got the lantern. That was the one item we were missing to enter Temple of Time. Wait, we can do Temple of Time. I completely forgot. Are you happy, chat? Okay. Uh. Hmm. Soul. Surely we're gonna find a good item soon, though. There's no way this dungeon is for nothing, right, chat? <coughs> Hey, we got the boss key. Here we go. This is the last checks. We get two checks in this room and then prediction ends. Here we go. Everybody prage. Second last check. One more. I definitely am believing here. This is it. In three, two, one. Well, it was good while it lasted. Uh, mods, do another one for uh, 915. Mmm. A posal. I don't want to bring this guy all the way down <laughs> oh man there's so many spiders in this dungeon i wonder what the final boss could be snake giraffe this is some good predictions mm, arrows all right we're almost done this dungeon looks like booty cheeks what I'm so bored. I hate this dungeon. I'm sorry if you like this dungeon, but oh my god, this backtracking is so slow. I take it back. It's worse than Tower of the Pogs. Tower of the Gods. God damn it. Yeah, like one singular time on a first playthrough, I can sort of see what you mean. They're like, hey, it's not that bad, but if you go ever go through this game a second time, it's so slow. Does the speedrun skip much of this dungeon? The speedrun doesn't even enter this dungeon. This is one of the fully skippable dungeons. Because the only purpose this dungeon has, in terms of the progression of the casual game, is to give you a rod to move a statue so you can warp the cannon. But you can, with glitches, just warp the cannon. There's nothing that stops you from just using a glitch to clip through to warp the cannon. So this dungeon has no purpose for a speedrunner. All right, we did it. Woo! Oh my God, we did it. Yeah, I cannot believe that we actually got a spider for the boss. GG.
GG. Uh oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I actually don't remember this. Wait. <laughs> Is there another face to this fight? I don't remember this. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I actually forgot. Okay. Actually, the first dungeon of Beaten where we actually got a heart container. Okay, well, let's do a small break from dungeons because that just drained me and let's do a couple of overworld checks no for the for the requirements for beating the, this for getting access to ganon that was a required dungeon <sighs> fine chat i'll start just picking up the bugs i see Believers are not sweating. Believers are feeling pretty good right now. Because this next item check is going to be so good. It's going to be one of the best locations that I think you have ever seen. Believers, it's okay. Don't panic. It's okay. We have one final check for the prediction. And then, um... Uh oh Okay, you know what? That is still a really good item. Even if the Believers didn't win, that is still a very good item. After 9 hours and 15 minutes, I can do long jump attacks. I wish we would have gotten that, like, at the start, because now it's almost not even helpful to be able to do long jump attacks, but it is a good item. So for people who don't know Twilight Princess... Twilight Princess doesn't have that many glitches, but it has one really powerful glitch. You know, for example, like Wind Waker, ha Wind Waker HD has like item sliding. So in Twilight Princess, you have one major glitch and it's known as long jump attacks. And that is exploited with a Gale Boomerang. So if you get that early on, you can kind of break the entire logic, which is why like you want this one item. Speaking of which, we immediately get one check from it right here, which definitely is going to be the sword, Gopin. Anyways, and the prediction mods. We got a good item, but it was not the sword. Sure, you know what? We can do this. Mods, you can start a another prediction for 10 hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There is a mechanic in Twilight Princess that is very unique to the game of Twilight Princess. Basically, this is how it works. When you are playing almost any other Zelda game and you do a jump attack, it is always the same distance. It is this distance. It doesn't matter if you're targeted to an enemy, you will al always get the same distance. Also, this will be on the test, so take notes. But that is not the case in Twilight Princess. In Twilight Princess, it actually changes based upon your enemy. So if you're right next to an enemy, look here if I'm jump slashing this guy and I'm against him. Do you see how I jump slash in place? But now look when I'm targeted from far away. Do you see how far he just jumped? So that is the mechanic that we can exploit. So they make it so that you can go really fast if you are targeted on something that is far away. Because of how the Gale Boomerang is set up, if you look carefully when I throw this, do you see how Link is kind of in this stance? He's basically in a targeted stance. And this is where the exploit comes in. So if I just throw the scale boomerang right here, you will see if I take out my sword and just press A to jump slash, nothing will happen, right? Because of how the game calculates the distance to an enemy, but since there's no enemy, it's through the Gale Boomerang, which just means it's it counts as right in front of you. But here's the exploit. If you target so that the Gale Boomerang is at a location higher than where Link is standing, and then you jump slash, you get the full speed of the long jump attack. And it also works if the boomerang is out of bounds. What that means in practice is that anytime you can make sure that the boomerang is over, for example, a void or at a higher point than where you are, he will always do a long jump attack. And this, mean, this means that you can jump over major, major gaps all around the game. 
So, as an example, let me show you one jump and then let's get back to the playthrough. So here, I'm gonna throw my boomerang and then jump slash and look at what happens. I crossed more than half of the void from that one jump attack. Anyways, that being said, there's your live tutorial and there's your live explanation of the most broken item in the game. We've done three dungeons. We have City in the Sky and Palace of Twilight left. After completing Temple of Time, talk to Renando in his, in his sanctuary to receive the item. Is he just in the basement right now? Why is he not here? I know I can glitch it, but I guess it is within logic now. You know what? It is within logic. I'm not even breaking logic. I'm just going to teleport it. It's literally within logic. I literally have the check. I'm just going to go through it. It's just going to remove a bunch of back and forths. Oops. Okay, and let's start the timer in three, two, one, go. Okay, here's what we're hoping for, chat, okay? We are hoping for Butter Sword and a boss key. That's it. That's what we want. You know, we have checked so many locations. We have almost 100% of the game at this point. And if I have one thing to say about that, that is fun. An almost 100% seed. All right, I'm going to do everything in my power to break this dungeon. There are two things. Actually, Chad, you should pay attention. In case you never watched me speed on this game before and you haven't listened to my explanations before. There are a couple of easy tricks that even you, yes, you, can do even if you're a casual. To make this dungeon way more bearable. In case you did not know. So. The first thing is in this main room. So this main room has a fan that spins. And it does not stop until you get the boss key and hit a switch at the top. Well you can actually stop that from ever activating. Making it so much easier to get the boss key. All you have to do. Is before you enter this door. Turn into wolf link. There is a trigger in front of this door that activates the fan from spinning. So what you want to do is tap forward slowly while you're wolf link. And when you see A to open door at the top right, you just press A to open. Because wolf link's hitbox to open a door is so big that you don't actually have to get right in front of the door to open it. Press A to open. And now, bam. The fan never starts spinning. So that means that you can just hook shot there and then hook shot there and get to the top. And you don't have to go through all of that mess. That makes the dungeon 10 times easier. So once you get the double claw shot, you can just go up there immediately. So if you ever wanna if you ever wanna replay this game, that is a big recommendation I have. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It actually intends for me to go to the end of the game and then backtrack once I get the small keys. You know what? Sure. Let's do it that way. Why not? Oh, I understand now why. Okay, chap. Do you remember how I just mentioned that I did that glitch to make the fan not spin? The seed intends for me to go up there. So it gave me that boss key. That's why those checks just appeared. Because with getting that boss key, it disabled this fan. So if I wouldn't have done that glitch, now the fan would actually be disabled in a specific randomizer. That's what the... So the seed is actually intending me to go up here right now. Now I get it. Because I was looking at the tracker and I went, wait, that makes no sense. Why did all of these checks just appear? I get it now. So basically... This glitch was almost, like, intentional. I heard the ex I heard the item sound and I got excited. Not as excited once I saw the item that we got. 60 posts for true Master Sword would be one hell of a troll. Yeah, to beat this game to be in go mode right now, we need Ball and Chain and Butter Sword. That's the two items we're missing. What? That is bullshit. I did not press forward there. That should not have jumped. Believers, I don't want you to lose hope, but I'm losing hope. Believers, don't lose hope. I don't think I need to watch out for this door anymore. Because I have the boss key. 
Alright, since I Pepega and reset, you get this one next item check, chat. And then it's all over. Alright, here we go. Last check. If it was the other one, I almost feel a little bit bad. Here we go. Doubters win. Mods pay out the doubters. Start a new prediction for... You know what? We gotta be so close now, right? Do it for 1035. Do it for 1035. Because we gotta be so close now, surely. Okay, that's the ball and chain. We are missing one more item and we are done. We just need to find that stupid butter sword. That's it. That's the only item we need to beat the seed now. One more item to find. And we only have 212 locations left. I am actually going through all the item checks and sitting in the sky. I don't technically have to. I can't beat the dungeon, but I'm missing one item to beat the game, which is the sword. And I don't think it's worth it to skip these item locations when compared to overworld checks, they are quite fast and optimal. Just to find out later on, oops, it was a city in disguise this whole time. So I'm doing a full clear <clears throat> of the dungeon. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I'm gonna safety save right now. That scared me so much. That slowdown, I know it's just a slowdown, but it scared me. We finally found the shield. I don't need it. I just think it's so funny. It took us 10 and a half hours to find the shield, dude. Oh my god. All right, I'll equip it. That is so funny. 10 and a half hours to find the shield. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're missing two item locations on the left. And then that's it. Why didn't you buy the uh, the wooden shield from Kakariko hours ago? I did. It's been a mandatory this whole time. I just didn't want to equip it. I had no use for a wooden shield. Linkus, as a representative of the believers, we have decided we want to we want you to go to Bugs. Really? The last three four hours have not proved to you that the decision to not go for Bugs was a correct decision. I found every ex item except for one from not doing Bugs. And you're still convinced it's bugs? There is only one item left that we need. How could you possibly think we should go bugs at this point? But Link, is we still don't have the butter sword though? Yeah, but that's because clearly we're about to get it as the next item check. Have you not seen how packed this dungeon is? We got the ball and chain. We got the shield. We got, uh, okay, that's it. But hey, that's still two cool items, okay? That's still like one useful item and one cool item. This is one out of two. Okay, we officially have three item checks left in this dungeon. It's this one, it's one chest before the boss, and then the boss reward. Here we go. Even though I don't actually have to do this, I'm gonna do the cool strat to get to the end of this dungeon, in case anyone hasn't seen it. We have complete, we have fully cleared the dungeon and we've accessed everything, so I don't have to do this, but it looks really cool, so let's do it nonetheless. Is it fast though? Yes. As a matter of fact, it would be even faster than doing it legitimately. And it's cool. It's like a double win. Bam. Look at that. Okay, second last item check in a dungeon. <sighs> Alright, the last item check for the believers would be the dungeon reward. I hate to say it, bugs are looking a little bit more likely. It's not a guarantee, but it's looking more and more likely as time goes on. But it's definitely not a guarantee. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Cave of Ordeals is legitimately something it could be. I'm not even kidding. We might have to go through Cave of Ordeals. It's a very likely situation. There would be a total of three item checks for us there. It would be the Fairy Reward. It would be... And then the three posts. For the prediction, this boss fight is it. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Chad, do you believe the last item check for the believers? Will it be the butter sword? Let's find out. Maybe it's just a visual. Maybe once we pick it up, it won't be a quarter of a heart of piece of heart. Maybe once we pick it up, vanilla. No, it's worse than vanilla. In the vanilla, at least you get a heart container. That looks like a heart piece. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the, is the model of the butter sword can't be displayed in the overworld. So maybe it is the butter sword. It's just being showcased as a piece of heart. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Mods, pay it out. 